It's been a rough night. I was worried about you last night. I was a little worried about me too. I think Mary's gonna enter the projectile vomit Olympics. There's no perfect medicine. been a rough night uh, first night in the hospital and we started Mary's IVs last night um, went through all the regular things like chest x-ray and um, getting everything started with all the questions and whatever else and then uh, she had to get an EKG and then it seemed like we were gonna get ready for just a normal night in the hospital, but um, number one, Mary was coughing a lot last night, and uh, I, I don't think she got much sleep. But then middle of the night, um, her fever spiked, and she started uh, throwing up, and this is kind of, it doesn't happen every time, but it's pretty frequent that this is the reaction her body has when she starts IV antibiotics, it kind of freaks out and hopefully it'll settle down and um, she can get some rest, but she's resting right now and we're just getting started with the day, but. I think the pump was beeping all night. Yeah, there was a lot of beeping going on last night. Part of the reason is she's hooked up almost all the time because she's on three different IV antibiotics and then the feeding tube was pump was beeping and all the things speaking of beeping so did more. you sleep i did sleep some not a ton but i slept some look she's more I human i cannot describe that night I have not had that bad of a reaction in... I mean, that reminded me of what you used to get when yes. you started IVs. Like, like four years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I do not understand. It was so bad. Oh my gosh. I just, okay, so here's what happened. The first two hours when I was going to sleep, I don't know if it was post-nasal drip, it was constant coughing. Not my normal. And I think I was sleeping through some of it. I had been given 25 milligrams of Benadryl, which is more than I usually take for preventing red man syndrome from the vancomycin. So I was like sleepy, but I was coughing for two hours. And like Peter came over at one point and was like, are you okay? And I was like, huh? <laughs> and like, I was so confused. I knew I was coughing, but I think I couldn't tell if it was like dreaming or not. So we were trying to set my body up for success with not getting red man syndrome, but it turned out while I was asleep. So that first two hours of coughing happened. And then I realized I felt the fever coming. And if, I don't know if we've talked about this before, but it's my body does this weird reaction to pretty much any IV antibiotics. It's not a specific drug that does this to me, it's like any IVs. Basically, my body freaks out and does a fever, and sometimes I'll throw up as well. And it's, I we don't know if it's just from like having a fever or if I get super nauseous. There's really no telling, it all kind of happens really fast. But anyway, I was coughing constantly for those first two hours, then I felt the fever coming, but I was able to get kind of comfortable and like get in a ball. I was facing the bed. I was just like in a ball and I fell asleep, but then I woke up to itching, itching, itching. And I was like, really? But I was out of it, so out of it that I didn't say anything because at that point, I don't know. I was like, I don't need to get more Benadryl. Yeah. Since it was just itching, it wasn't like full on red man's. But then the fever started getting worse. And my sweet nurse, oh, she's so sweet. She was just like, she came in and gave me Tylenol through my J tube, which was the first. It was liquid, but I was so out of it. Like, mm -hmm. and she like 
pushed it in and like then I think I started feeling a little nauseous at that point but why did my brain not work soon enough but I know that the Zofran wouldn't have done anything because I ended up taking Zofran later and I still threw up after that so anyway I ended up vomiting twice after the first time I actually felt better like my even my fever like I knew I still had a fever but like it just felt better I wasn't just in a ball I could move, I got up and went to the bathroom and everything. And then I was like, okay, good, the worst is over. And then like it happened all again. Anyway, then I slept the rest, I don't know, a couple hours, I guess. Yeah. Then this morning, I could tell that my headache was gonna be really bad. Like, just, it's like a pressure headache from coughing so much. So then I was like restricting my cough. So they gave me pain meds because it's really important for me to clear my airways and cough. So I'm starting to feel like a human again. And I think I only have a low grade, like, I don't know. Yeah. Sometimes, I'm trying to think back to when my reactions first started. It would happen for two days, right? Yeah, then sometimes. It, it all depends on the timing of when you start antibiotics, I feel like. and. Usually it's not after the first <laughs> But I'm guessing it's because you had three of them. Yeah. It, like consecutively that it kicked in faster than normal. But she actually hasn't had this reaction as much in the last year or so. And we were wondering yeah. if IVIG had an effect on that or whatever. But to last night it, uh, it was full force. Oh, man. You know what? When I remember this bad, or maybe not quite this bad, but when that traveling nurse was here, Alex, and uh, she was one of the ones, if you guys saw my... It would have been August. The birthday. Yeah. It's like, I guess it was like a year and a half ago. Yeah, so not this past August, but the one before, 2016. But I just remember she came in right after the whole, like, throwing up episode, and I wasn't doing good, and... She was so caring. They're just so caring. And like last night, I was coughing really hard when my nurse was in here, when she first came in. And like she put her hand on my back when I was coughing. And that just means so much to me. Like they see it all day, every day, but she still had compassion. And not like, how you doing? Are you okay? Not like, it was just, it was very clearly that she cared. Yeah. And she, and she knows like, no, I'm not doing great, but she still cared to ask, and she was just so sweet. And after I was like vomiting and stuff, Peter had grabbed stuff so I didn't throw up straight on my bed, like he had gotten towels and stuff. You should probably change your sheets. But then the second time I threw up on my sheets and I was like not gonna move. I was like, I don't care. Like I really didn't care. Yeah. So plan for today, I'm starting IV, antibiotics to treat the infection that's in my lungs. It's a long-standing infection. It's always there, but sometimes the best way I can kind of describe it is like it gets worse, like it flares in a sort of. So then we use IV antibiotics to try to like suppress it a little bit more. Unfortunately, my, my um, bacteria are resistant, so we're never gonna be able to like fully kick them out but we try everything we can. We try to get creative with medication combinations and that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm doing IV vancomycin, imipenem, and zosin. And we're hoping that this, I've never done those three, and- In combination. Right, together. Yeah. And part of the reason that I had to be in this time- To be honest, this would be a pain of a routine to do at home. Yes. Zosin is every six, imipenem is every eight, and vancomycin is every 12. 12. So basically she's almost always hooked up. So the other reason that we have to be here is that my blood counts. My blood counts. We're, we're expecting based on previous experience that they're going to drop because the antibiotics suppress our bone marrow. Yeah. So we're going to try to deal with that and well, we're going to just take it as it comes. Tip for yes. today, it's just continue on the course of treatment. Hopefully not have more reactions and get started on airway clearance and that sort of thing. Yeah. So that's the plan for today. It's just like this 
huge reminder that there's no perfect medicine. I'm doing these IVs to try to help my body. Yeah. And um, when my team came in today, they were like, do you feel better? or worse than before you came in. And I was like, way worse. Yeah, but that's part of the process and we know yeah, that. Yeah, part of it. Part of it. It's part of it, right, buddy? He and I went out this morning and had a nice walk. Did and you? Yeah. Aww. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so thankful I feel for you. Yeah, I'm thankful too. I was worried about you last night. Well, I was a little worried about me too. <laughs> So, two things. First, it's snowing. That's just beside the point. Mary started coughing, threw up all over her bed. Pro yeah. projectile. Talk about projectile. I, I think Mary's going to enter the projectile vomit Olympics. And, um, no, but really, uh, she... So then, since I had thrown up on those sheets twice, I decided to get out of bed mm -hmm. so that they could change my sheets. She came over to my nice windowsill it bench. It's comfy. It is comfy, isn't it? I almost feel like this is comfier than my bed. Okay, you can sleep there. Actually, yeah, maybe you should sleep there because uh, this bench is actually a little shorter than most of the benches. Is it? Yeah. But, oh, baby. But no, it is just long enough. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you should just hang out there in the window for the day. And if I'm laying like this, I can see past the building and I can see the sky. Nice. So we're just gonna keep going with the day. She's hooked up to, I think you're hooked up to Imipenem right now, which is, it was during Imipenem that she got raging sick last night. Um, but it was funny because I just happened to be coughing and then my stomach was like, oh, that's not good, not good. But it was like right after she hooked up the Emmy Penum. Oh. And I was like, it's not. I think that was no, random timing. Yeah, there's yeah. no way it happened that fast. I've got Zofran in my system and I still throw up. Yeah. Come on, body. Come Get on. Get it together. Well, physical therapy just came and we tried to get Mary up and go over to the bed so she could do PT over there. And in the process, there was more puking. Did I make it in the bucket? You did make it in the bucket. You alright? Good job. <laughs> Celebrate the little things, people. Celebrate the little things. Well guys, today was a bit of a blur. I think especially for Mary. Because she... She probably puked a little more than what we, the last time we talked to you guys, and she's pretty much been sleeping all evening. I literally just slept for like eight hours. Yeah, and, and I think- now I'm going back to sleep. Yeah, I, I woke her up to like take her evening meds and get wrapped up for the evening. I think, I think she had a fever for most of the time she was sleeping, but- and Do you? I don't, I mean, you seemed hot and your cheeks were so I pink. I woke up with a fever. Yeah. Hopefully tonight will be better than last night. I'm so scared. Honestly, yeah. I am scared. It took like a lot for me to take my pills tonight because I was like feeling like they were going to make me throw up and yeah. I took them. But how was your day? My day's been good. I've been doing reading and getting ready for my sermon on Sunday. And so I, at one point you said you went downstairs to study? Yeah, I went Where'd downstairs go? just to Starbucks and cool. sat in red. And then tonight I went to Clover for dinner. Oh, did you? Yeah. How was that? You were just sleeping through all of this. Oh yeah, I had um, no clue. No it clue. was good. Well, we are gonna try to get some sleep and as, as always, always we will see you tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Don't you think we'll yeah, that's the end of the Holly Boy. Say goodnight to the peeps.